everyone welcome back to my youtube channel because spreading the goodness will create good vibes as you see that i'm wearing an orientation clothes or orientation t-shirt it's this is we call pink t-shirt that is uh, make me feel so proud to be part of the program of student helping student and now i'm going to share with you that uh every new student will have this challenge because we need to familiarize ourselves and introduce ourselves with Dikin Sync, which is the online platform that we always use as Dikin students so uh, I'm going to share with you how to use Dikin Sync uh, regularly and what we can learn from Dikin Sync there are features that is very important and helping you in your study Check it out! For the new student of Deakin University, I, I want to say welcome. Um, so I experienced new student before and I know how does it feel uh, to prepare everything for your independent learning, especially for you online student or offline uh, student. So as new student, you need to learn first how to use Deakin Sync or Deakin cloud as the platform for you to study at Deakin University. So first, you will need to open deakin.edu.au and when you go to log into Deakin Sing, you will go to this part and you need to put your username and password and if you have one, you can just log in and it will show how many units that you have for uh, this trimester for example you enter trimester one or trimester two as your first trimester so you can just go directly to uh, the current units so this how uh, Deakin Sing or Deakin Cloud looks like uh, they will have um, the uh, student ID also your uh, major and it will show you the weather up here and uh, it's the home page is like this you will see the feature like um, what is happening now also you need to check uh, whether you can uh, join what kind of programs are currently open. It's really helpful if you can uh, just familiarize and oftenly open this uh, Deakin Sing. And I will um, suggest you to just check what are all those uh, features in this home and especially when you are doing your assignment you will need to open this library very often because you will need to put uh, some um, themes or books that you are searching for your assignments and here also there are so many databases book space book a space for library reading list and all the announcements about current situation of COVID-19. Also, uh, the websites uh, and the library computers that you can book before you come to library if you don't want to bring your laptop. You will need to check uh, all these library sites in Dickinson, how to borrow the book and how to join a library online for orientation also uh, in the other features you can uh, learn about uh, finding jobs or career and if you are international student like me you will have 40 hours for zero hours per 
fortnightly, which is two weeks. So you cannot uh, break the rules, and especially for your student visa, you need to be careful with it. And this also can go to your mail, your student mail, and when you click it, it will show uh, your email and then you can communicate with other students or even you can uh, talk to your professor or lecturers there. Um, the main uh, propose for using this Deakin sync is to know about your uh, current um, units that you take. This is the units that I took uh, from the past, from previous um, trimesters and you uh, can open for example, all right, I can open one unit just to show you how is it look like. In this uh, unit, because I'm doing Master of International Relations and my major for uh, unit that I'm doing for the research now is about women and terrorism in Indonesia. So I took uh, this unit and this is how it looked like in the unit um, uh, page when you open it in the Deakin Sync. So it will show that uh, if you put your picture and your name there and yeah. So this is the unit uh, chair, which is your lecturer. Um, also, you will have the main page here will show you uh, the announcements from the professor. Um, in the home content, uh, that's only the main page, but in the discussions, you will see uh, some discussions, sometimes the discussions uh, required every week. You need to put some um, uh, sources, sources uh, when you quote something and uh, you need to be aware that there is plagiarism and it's uh, forbidden for students. And you will have a, a uni start um, that's a session for you to uh, know about the rules, how to be a student, what kind of education system in Australia and in Deakin that you must be uh, respect or obey it. So uh, in the content you will see when I click content, you will see a unit guide and information. Uh, this is the table of contents. Uh, also, this is uh, the rights and responsibility as a student, also the unit assessment. And um, if you are like to know what kind of the assessment that you have uh, for your uh, reference, it will be look like this. And uh, you will see uh, the dates of um, themes that you will discuss and also what kind uh, requirement for the assessments. So in the study report uh, or quiz um, and you will see essay or uh, how many words will it uh, requires for you and the due date for that. So I think that's the content. Uh, for the reading list, you just need to check uh, the reading list there. And also, sorry, there is a, <laughs> there is a um, distraction a little bit. In the reading list, uh, as I open the readings, you will see the reading list uh, that is required for you to read every week based on the theme that you will study. And also sometimes the essay will uh, require, for example, the theme one to um, theme four, for example, like that. So these are the, the, the reading list. Some of them are online book that you can you online and it will refer directly when you click it's automatically come into the library uh, website 
um, we use EBSCO host in uh, Deakin University. So uh, if you are not the student of Deakin University, you will not uh, have ability or access to open these uh, books unless you are signing in as a member in that website. Well, uh, this unit guide and information that I already sh uh, show you and the assessment is like um, this. So there are turn it in that you can check for your assessment. So for example, like um, you can click it and they will uh, give you to add file and uh, submit and it will help you to check whether you have uh, many plagiarism or not uh, recognize the source from your quotes or citation. In Deakin University, especially in uh, Australian Education Institutes uh, generally, there are uh, rules that you need to obey as the student and uh, you need to uh, highlight and are always aware of quoting other people's voice uh, and you need to have a capability for paraphrasing and uh, referencing and avoiding plagiarism as I mentioned you can read here and also guide to uh, assignment writing and guide to referencing there are so many sources and it's really easy for you to uh, open and slowly read it carefully and you can uh, also check if they give you sample of writing you can just follow what's the uh, requirement about and in this unit info or assessment they will show you uh, the uh, 2000 words essay like for example you need to respond one of the questions below like between nine questions you just need to choose one or uh, uh, they will give you uh, what are the assessor will be looking at in the marking assignment also in the second uh, case study report for example the, se uh, the second assignment they will require like this so they always uh, give you marking criteria to help you uh, to know about uh, what the assessor will uh, looking at to your assignment uh, so you will be um, very carefully to see and make your assignment in this unit uh, we have an online quiz uh, we have like a quiz that we just need to submit online based on our time and there are mar marking criteria too so these are generally how uh, the assessment page and these are the topics for the whole uh, classes but um, don't you worry if you aren't an uh, offline student and you can, you don't need, I mean, you can't come to the class, uh, especially now is quarantine for pandemic COVID-19. So the class recordings are all here. You just need to read and uh, see the video and follow the instruction and uh, you just need to have your um, own study time like maintaining your study time is very important as the, uh, the student so overall these are the Deakin sink uh, and the units and if you want to update your profile your information you can just go to student connect where you can check also the scores that you have. I might not uh, show you my score, but just click the assessment and exams, also timetable. And if you want to update your personal details, it's in the Student Connect. Um, if you go back to Dickinson, in the stars, this sign stars, you will uh, go to 
your schedule, the classes that you have, the timetable, it will show directly because I'm only uh, doing my research unit now. Uh, I don't need to come and I don't have any classes anymore. So basically, if I have uh, classes, it will be show like here, for example, like uh, Wednesday, every Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., something like that. So you just need to watch out your schedule and uh, be ready for the class and read your reading list uh, on the theme on that week before the class started. And there are also very um, important features that I need to explain to you that health and well-being is very important to know that there is information about the wood medical center counseling when you are stressed and then you need to have uh, someone to talk to and i know that the study is very stressful sometimes so you can go to counseling and make a book appointment with the counselor and they will uh, make time and uh, let you know when is the time for you to Account, to have the counseling and e-wellbeing hub uh, will help you with the uh, happy and healthy mind and it's really ne uh, needed when you are under stress of um, full schedule of study and uh, the other thing that uh, they have multi-phase services in in my in our campus in Berwood especially in Melbourne and these are uh, other um, health and well-being uh, features that you can find. So I just uh, want to suggest you that if you want to really um, know about each feature in the Dickens Sink, uh, please open oftenly what is it look like and if you don't uh, have um if you cannot access or if you have any uh, difficulties to um, access it you can just go if you are uh open your dickensing you can just click it help and uh, they will help you with your difficulties. But if you are international students, you can contact International Student Advisor, ISA. So it's easy, you can just search here, just say ISA, three letters, and then they will direct you, will direct you to the website of ISA and you can book appointment for for example, you are a student of Burwood campus, Warm Ponds campus, Waterfront, or one mall. So these are the uh, ISA that will be helping you with any difficulties that you have. So I think that's all that I have for now. Um, I just uh, want to say uh, that studying with a good uh, schedule or planning when you make the lesson planner uh, it helps you a lot with the study and sometimes i write down what i need to uh, do as a to-do list um, also make the deadline uh, so that I can know how many days I have for doing this assignment. So it's not really uh, good if you are submitting your assignment in the late, uh, in the, in the uh, time that is close to the deadline. And it's not uh, my suggestion too, so please be prepared and uh, allow yourself to have more time to get um, not to be stressful <laughs> and if you want to join some social communities you can just go to this uh, feature and you will see these are all the um, websites or instagram facebook social social media that will help you to connect with others. I think that's all for today. I hope this uh, can help you. And 
I'm sorry if it's uh, not really complete because there are so many features that is available in Dickensing. So you just need to open it and see which one you need uh, to know, which kind of information you want to know. Um, as current student in Deakin University, uh, this is my last year, so I would like to say welcome to Deakin. You uh, choose the right uh, university to study because Deakin provides the most advanced technology um, online platform uh, for you to access it anywhere you are. Um, and if you are offline student too, uh, it's good to learn and study in Deakin Library, especially in Burwood campus. It's so um, convenient place. And I went to One Pound campus too, uh, and I studied there in the library. It's really beautiful with the view of a water uh, from um, on in front of the campus. So uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much. I hope uh, this video helped you in your study. So that's all the pictures that you must know as new students in Dickensing. And if you have any difficulties or questions, you can just write down below in the in the comments. And um, if you have any uh, ideas or uh, any information you want to know uh, that I might can share as students in the last trimester in Deakin University. So you just need to uh, let me know what kind of information you need. So if I can help, I can make another videos for you. Uh, I hope this video is useful for you and see you in the next video. Bye!